Hello learners, in a far from mending crowd and critical reading or criticism, we have done three series. On that series, we have seen the male characters, how they look, Bachiba as in a woman and what are the male perspective we have seen on that videos. Now, in this session, we will try to see what are the hardest point of view on his narration or he create Bachiba. But what are the points, what he thinks about this narration on this character that name Bachiba. We will discuss in this session that what are the point of view are think by a Hardy. So the title of this session is Hardy's narration and the view of the others. And let's begin. As outlined in the introductory part of this essay, the norm or and conversation of the 19th century society must have inevitably played a role in Hardy's vision of the world. The question all modern readers must ask themselves is to what extent did Hardy break with the construction of the Victorian era by creating a female heroine both helpless when and independence on universal and complete, completely correct answer might be impossible to find. But it is arguable that Hardy at least step away from the traditional view on women and more important paved a way toward a better world, a world increasingly accepting and understanding what women want. Means in this para that what a Victorian era was looking towards to women that we have seen in other literary work we can find that that how women narration are ongoing and the modern writer have also think that how hardy able to write in his work we find in a modernity which is not present in other writers work hardy able to change the track track of literature by narrating in a woman protagonist or the woman heroines that is the leading part or the most important thing which make hardy different from uh, other writers of his contemporary or the parallel time period a second para looking back at bachiba's struggle to find out what she actually earned for it is Hardy's narrator who formulated her desire to be tamed by a dominant husband. It's a quoted line from that novel is, I want somebody to tame me. I am too independent and you would never be able to know. It is difficult in Victorian time or it is uh, difficult to write. But Hardy has that courage that he able to write this sentence that a woman is free, woman is independent. It is a difficult to write, to digest by a patriarchic society that a woman can free in Victorian time. Is it not possible? But it is possible in literature. By Hardy, it is able to done that women can get a freedom. But we must ask ourselves, it is that what she really want or what she believes she ought to be want. From the way Hardy narrated the story and uh, directly shaped the characters, Einar's thoughts become obvious that it is the letter. It is the society that expect women not only to get married, but also want to get married as Bathsheba. Though Hardy narrative's voice puts it 
a marriage would be a very nice in a one sense people would talk about me and i think i had won my battle and i should feel trumpet means a uh, what was society's point of view to get married but also want to get married means marriage is a final thing for an a woman and as an a bachiba kind of woman so male side it is a desire that want to be or want to get married with bachiba so what they want to do they want to close the all independence which women get not directly but indirectly they want to encroach women's freedom that hardly want to tell us in this line a second one beside hardy's omniscient narrator there are the other to be talk into an account at various places throughout the novel bachiba realizes she is a constantly being watched and above all judged by other people the other are various minor character her farmers all members of the ruler rather a secured society she live in the power of what judith wittenberg call are the feminist critics she make an one of the comments but what bachiba's point of view is that bachiba says that whenever or she was the saurals i looking means not looking but uh, some of the eyes are staring on her that she want to tell or uh, that uh, was spoken by hardy's narration means that hardy making in a satire that women are followed not by physically but uh, the very badly by an eye make an eye, with an eye contact they are making a very bad impression on the women side actually that thomas hardy want to tell us and the second feminist critics the judith wittenberg what she want to tell the collective eye is a further confirm in her essay in which she observe the following the the sea is always in the factive hardened world inventable prologue to the say there is a problem no need to explain that in any kind of society really being talk about inevitably lead to a more serious crime a being judged by the others rob of the opportunity to defend oneself means that every time people's freedom always taken by other and who the other are that always a society means the patriarchal world which always encroach the space which is uh, get by women the, that hardly want to tell us being in a watch by the other always carry a negative connotation in the novel and despite her apparent independence and strength means what we find that is a ongoing battle between both side bachiba side and that eyes which are following to her every place where she was visiting some eyes are always there they are staring but if we see in the novel the narration tell us that it's a look like pleasant but when we see from the male side it is a pleasant to stare a woman but if we see that woman side it's a look like little bit bad it is not good manner to follow the eyes but the overall that society made that the patriarchy the powerful people can do it women cannot do women has restricted women have to obey to the power and power gained by a male that they want to tell that is the sense which we have to uh, get if we do very deeper reading and uh, reading after reading so these are the layers which a writer always put in, in their works so we have to go on uh, that depth for an uh, understanding bachiba 
never fails at sea when being observed by men. One such moment as reflected in the corn market scene where the farmers plainly stare at Bathsheba. At her first entry, the lumbering dialogue had caged nearly every face had been turned towards her and thus that were already turned rightly uh, turned rigidly fixed there. Another instance of being observed by the other is the moment she sit alone in the circus tent feeling that many eyes were turned upon her. The power of gazing eye of follow thus mean is often strong enough to make a Bathsheba blush, hesitate or even change her opinion and habits. So means that uh, here we have uh, seen two examples. The first one is a very uh, deep meaningly that the corn market means that uh, marketplace is uh, always uh, encroached by a male side. But suddenly one of the women, only a single woman is in a corn market. It's a difficult or it is not digestible from that uh, males who are doing in a business there. So that's why those eyes are following her, which is not so good in sense. Furthermore, various aspects of Bathsheba's character are revealed through the eye of the others. Head Stroge and Wayne were just some of the label the villagers used when discussing Bathsheba's character. Yes, it is a pity she saw Head Stroge. This a handsome maid, however, and she will soon get picked up. The above quote clearly shows that such observations were not always complained. But more importantly, it is also contain a detachable grain of patriotism in making a judgment about how marriageable the woman is a question was. Means always a woman get an a satire, a woman get, woman get an a criticism on his beauty, on, uh, on her work, she never get an a freedom. She is never free from a criticism or criticization by a society that actually Hardy want to tell us. In Hardy's novel, the final conclusion of this uh, whole series is in Hardy's novel, there is uh, enough evidence that Bathsheba was well aware of the power of a village talk and the opinion based on it. She was uh, certainly not immunitated to the gossiping of her people as the following scenes illustrate and many work fall see me following you but you about the field and are wondering oh this is a dreadful this moment when Bathsheba merely goes for a walk with Troy clearly shows that she could not help the feeling of unsense and even anxiety as a result of being watched by others means if she want to do some kind of helpful with other people or she want to make a work but she cannot able to do work why just because some eyes are watching always so these are the trouble with the woman in a victorian time and thomas hardy able to give a freedom to women in literature so that's the richness of our literature that what not happen in the actual society it can be possible in our literature that hardly able to do it hardly able to break the society's rule regulation and change chain which are struck the woman in their rigidities but hardy by writing in some works he able to make a breakthrough to get a woman of freedom so they, these are the points which Hardy talks in the far from mending crowd.